and they're ready and that's it they're off away and racing in the 19th running of the Skybed Sunday series Pontefract Castle Philly Stakes a little bit awkward out of the stalls both Madame Ambassador and uh, also Ching Shi towards the rear and uh, also One Evening was slowly into stride as well having been awkward out of the boxes Keys Chorister broke well and is the first away leading up to Icicle towards the outside in green and red of back in third Voodoo Queen on the inside tracking Voodoo Queen is C Flawless and then away to the out of the Royal Blue of Pennymore. Next is Madame Ambassador in a line of three at the moment with on the outside, thanks Monica. Red cap on the rail, three priests followed by the slow starters Ching Shi and One Evening who is the back marker and would sit probably eight lengths off Keys Chorister who brings them to the end of the first quarter mile and is in front by a length to the Johnny Murta trained Icicle in second position. Third on the inside, Voodoo Queen being slipstreamed by Sea Floor and then Penny Moore, the only previous listed winner in the field in the all blue under William Buick, who's bidding for a quick double. Tracking them is Thanks Monica, just in front of three priests. One evening is still out towards the rear with Madame Ambassador as they make the turn on towards the final three quarters of a mile and the halfway stage of this £80,000 contest. Keys Chorister Benoit de la Sayette leading up by three parts of a length. Icicle under Ben Cohen, who's having his first ride here at Pontefract towards the outside. They're being followed through in third position. A lovely sit for Voodoo Queen under David Egan. Penny Moore is in fourth place just off C. Flawless and Tom Marcond. Thanks, Monica, has made a bit of progress now with less than four furlongs to go into sixth place past three priests. Then Madame Ambassador caught out wider of her is Ching Shi and one evening will have to come from the back of the field under Rab Havlin as they're approaching the home turn. Keys Chorister being pressed by Icicle. Pennymore ranging up three wide on the outside. In fourth place is Voodoo Queen. Thanks, Monica. C. Flawless trying to get out. Three priests making ground up the rail, but is short of room. Madam Ambassador Ching Shi behind them. One evening, a lot to do. Pennymore's hit the front and goes for home. Here on the outside, there is Voodoo Queen. Thanks, Monica. Three priests, the red cap trying to run on. Down the outside is Ching Shi, and it is Voodoo Queen and David Egan in front, running on from the back is Ching Shi a second with one evening up the rail but in the clear is Voodoo Queen and Voodoo Queen won the Pontefract Castle. One evening made good late work from the rear of the field along with Ching Shi and back in fourth position was three priests. Yeah Chris thanks very much Craig Bennett and Mary Fox Study is with me seen his colours carried to victory well done a, a worthwhile trip she did that nice. She did yeah very very pleased she's been coming to herself all season you know she made a debut with Goodwood this year Rogers or she's probably weren't really firing at the start of the season she finished about fifth uh, went to York ran a blinder in the uh, group three so I thought on form today she she should win but she won it very nicely so and it's important because it sets the rest of the year up now we've got the black type win we can look at races like the Lily Langtree or there's a big there's a group two at Deauville over 13 furlongs for fillies so it makes the rest of the year a, a bonus and it looked as though David rode her with real confidence in her stamina as much as anything as well to kick and say, you won't get to me. Yeah, the race at uh, York was a mile six and she seemed to just about last home. I think she got done because she was on her own. Um, so we knew she'd stay given the stamina test that Pontefract is. But um, yeah, he rode her beautifully. And, uh, turning in, I thought, right, go. And it was over quickly, wasn't it? She wants quick ground, does she? Yeah, definitely. She needs she needs rattling ground like this. We, we, we thought the thunderstorms were around and we needed them to avoid us. And, and the filly that finished fourth, three priests, I mean, was absolutely chuffed with her, you know. She was 25 to 1 and she needs rattling ground. If it had rained, she wouldn't have run. But we would have run the winner because we needed to, you know. She, she, had, she, she, should, have, she should have been close to winning. But a great day, great day. Uh, yeah, very much so. And... You were just telling me this, so this is the third generation now, because I, I didn't know you bred cursory glance as well. Yeah, we, we bought Time Control, who's the grand dam, uh, in 2006 when we first got involved. Luca Kamani trained her for me. She won at Chester. Um, she, she bred cursory, who obviously won the Albany and won the Moigler. Roger trained her. And this is, uh, this is cursory's second runner. 
and um, both are now stakes performing horses, stakes winning horses, so a good start for her career. That's true, as you say, who, who won the Moy on her last start, and, and it, she was injured in the, in the off-season, was she? Yeah, she was injured. She was second favourite, I think, for the 1,000 guineas, and we were really excited, and things went wrong, you know. She got an injury, and you have to take it, don't you, yeah. you know? I started in jump racing. That teaches you to take your pain, because you get plenty of it. So, uh, yeah, we're a bit used to that, but days like this make it all worthwhile. Yeah, they really do. And how many have you got? I just heard Roger, actually, on the, on the PA speaking to Adele Moran and paying tribute to you and, and how much of a, a strong supporter you've been with him since day one. Really. Yeah, we've been with Roger from way back, and uh, we have about 25 horses in training. Um, Roger would have about five or six of those. We've got about 25 mares. Uh, a few are in partnership with Newsels, the rest are our own. And we try and breed good racehorses. Yeah. And what you do? Well, yeah, we've, we've had success. I mean, we've, we've bred four Group 1 winners since we started. So we're, we're doing something right. Yeah. Well, 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 long may it continue. Have you got anything out soon you're looking forward to, Craig? There's, um, there's a few that we've bred that we sold. We're looking to see how they get on in terms of our own. Um, I think I'd have to look back and see what we've got. I mean, this filly is exciting for the rest yeah. of the season. Uh, I was just saying to you, we had a bad day yesterday going to air and finishing down the field in the listed race. So you have the good days and you have the bad days. That was one with Paddy too, me. That's with yeah. Paddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a nice filly. We've got another filly called Mia Demina who's a nice filly with Paddy. We look forward to her for the rest of the season. Yeah, we've got, we've got quite a few, you know. So, yeah, things are looking good. Good stuff. Wish you all the best, Craig. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Voodoo Queen has won the Pontefract Castle Sticks, a listed race over a mile and a half under David Egan. And David, we were just saying after the race, a, a really nice ride. It played out perfectly for you, but I think you had that mapped out in your head, did you? Yeah, I was expecting a stronger pace angle. I obviously knew uh, Benoit was going to roll forward on Mr. Manuzier's horse, but I was expecting a bit more pace from the outside numbers to sort of take him on, and or take her on, should I say, and... Uh, I thought I was in the right position, just in behind Benoit, that I could uh, angle out and gradually bring her home. But she uh, showed a nice turn of foot over the stiff mile and a half trip here today. I was just saying to William Buick after his winner, that cutaway sort of makes it a, a little bit more of a level playing field. But you sort of spied what was going to happen and got that smooth passage and got her wound up. I didn't want to have to wait off the medium to slow pace, I thought to have to rush her for a far long a half. I'd rather gradually angle her out and bring her home gradually because these nicer fillies, you've got to ride them like nice fillies. And uh, she gradually picked up, but she hit the line very strong. And it's very nice for uh, Mr. Bennett. He's here today, who obviously had the mother cursory glance, who was a group one winner for the boss. So uh, yeah, it's great to um, see these bloodlines coming through for a, an owner breeder who's obviously put a lot into the game. and. This bit of uh, important black type will not only be important for Voodoo Queen, but also for the whole family as well. She's going the right way, clearly. This is a career best. Do you think there's more to come from her? I think she was definitely in the, the best form she's been. Uh, Joe, who looks after and rides her out, couldn't have been more pleased with him. He's got a lot of experience in the game a long time, and um, he said she was in the form of her life, and whether she can improve from here, well, I was impressed. Uh, Better so, but if not, she's she's at a pretty high level at the moment and uh, deserves to probably maybe step up a grade at this point. It's been worth the trip to Pontefract. It was worth the trip to Red Car yesterday as well. You're flying. Yeah, it was. Look, it's not easy at the Royal Meet, and I hit the crossbar a couple of times. So uh, to get to yeah to get back well to get back on the board when you're riding nice horses, it's um, full of confidence for myself and. Uh, yeah, great for the team going into the summer. And uh, the rest of the afternoon, you got anything else to come? You've got a, a well-backed horse, thinking the two and a quarter mile rest called Henry. Yeah, he's uh, horse was second last day. I watched the replay. Probably a bit of a disservice finishing second. He ran a very good race and just got caught late on. So um, yeah, a horse with a little bit of a turn of foot over this extreme distance. So uh, we'll try and use that late. Well, best of luck later, David. Well done. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.